The Canadian study was put out in the Annals of Surgery in 2004, and essentially uh, they wanted to examine whether or not bariatric surgery should be paid for by the Canadian government. Out of approximately 6,000 people who qualified for bariatric surgery, they offered this surgery to 1,000 people, and those 1,000 people had a gastric bypass. Approximately 5,000, therefore, did not, and they followed these two groups for the next five years, looking at specific endpoints. Out of um, all-cause mortality, and that means death from a heart attack or getting hit by a car, they looked at these numbers between the two groups and found that one-half of one percent of the surgery group died within five years, whereas almost 6.7 percent of those who did not have surgery died within the same period. Roughly translated, this is an 89 percent reduction in mortality according to having surgery versus not having surgery. With regard to something such as cardiovascular disease, which we now know is the number one cause of death for women in the United States, uh, they found that only 4.7 percent of the patients who had bariatric surgery suffered from heart disease at that five-year period, while 27 percent of patients who did not suffered from heart disease. These numbers are quite remarkable. Similarly, with cancer, and we realize that many cancers are associated with obesity, they found a remarked reduction in the incidence of cancer in those who had bariatric surgery versus not having. Specifically, 2 percent of patients who had bariatric surgery were found to have a malignancy within five years, whereas 7 percent of those who did not have surgery were found to have a malignancy. Overall, similar reductions were seen throughout, well, across the board for all diseases.